reside in our county, that about two million people uh, were here or were aware, uh, they would feel very comfortable with me saying on behalf of all the uh, residents of this uh, great community uh, of ours uh, that we express solidarity, unity, and support for the great edifice that will rise here over the next several months. One of the things that's always true about the African American the church that besides our edifices, our churches being places where the members of the specific church come for spiritual enhancements and reinforcement, uh, for hearing the word each week uh, about the preachers of Jesus Christ. Uh, it's always a place where the broader community is able to come and talk about what it is that we in the community, the black community and other community can do to make the community as a whole a better place uh, to live. It was in this church four years ago that I was the chair, um, Pastor Maxwell, of the Families Against Mandatory Sentencing, where we had several dozen uh, black families here in the community come and talk about what was happening to their young men and women who were getting 10, 15, 20 years in jail for selling uh, $10 uh, worth of crack cocaine. Uh, when many, many others were from a low wealthier uh, communities and had a different view about them were getting no time probation or treatment. So our churches have always been places where the community benefits. So I look forward, uh, Pastor Maxwell talked about the big meeting room that will hold 500 people, the specialized room for women. I just look forward to continuing to work uh, with Holgate under your great uh, leader as we make this uh, a big, important, and even more influential edifice here in the greater Seattle community. And just thank all of you for uh, joining the Colgate Church family here on this great occasion. Thank you very much for thank my you. Council Member Gossett uh, has had two losses in his family uh, in the last month or so. And uh, we prayed for him and uh, his family in these losses, these recent losses, and want him to know that we'll continue to do that. Uh, we've asked several members uh, who, I know it's, the sun is beaming on you, but uh, we've asked several men, members who represent a cross-section of the membership to uh, state for about one minute uh, what, the church, what the church here, the local work here, means to them. And when I thought about individuals, I thought about Sister John Anna Price. Today is just good to be here with all of the winners. We are all winners for the Lord Jesus Christ. And all these many, many years I have been here, and this is the second time that I have had to put my feet in some dirt or something like that. So anyway, I want to thank you very much. We are all winners for the good Lord. And I continue to pray that I will continue to faithful to the Lord and I just quit work. I have retired and I've worked on my job for 33 and a half years at Lake Washington right. Technical College. So, so I finally retired. But I never retired in the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Price. Thank you very much. Then uh, we'd like to have Sister Baker to uh, have a word. Sister Isora Baker, where are you? There she is. Sister Price, it's been here, and it has been for 40 years, as you may have heard this morning in the sermon, that we have been here 40 years, or maybe more, and I, I am just de delighted. I, I, I can hardly speak. I'm, I'm just excited over this, because I've lived to see this, and I have been praying, and you have been a wonderful inspiration to me all of these years, and even the generations now. You, you're just, just marvelous, and when I see your smiles and hugs, I just think I'm one of you now <laughs> again. So thank you so much for your encouragement, for everything that you have inspired me with since I've been here. It's been just wonderful. I, I can't I can't wait until I just tell the whole world about this. Thank you. Keep me in your prayers. And, and 
and and keep that I pray that uh, that uh, that I will see the job well done. Amen. I, I would love to live to see that. Thank you. Love you all. Thank you. God bless you, Sister Baker. We have we have other members who have not been here that long, and um, but they're making an impact on the church family. We like to have Brother Melvin Selden to come forward and share uh, what Holgate means to him. He's been here for not even a year yet. Uh, today, groundbreaking day. Uh, Holgate means a lot to me. Uh, I'm a life that's changing because of the body of Christ. You have encouraged me. You have blessed me tremendously through your prayers. You have sacrificed a living sacrifice to come to me and say, you know what, Brother Melvin? Hang in there. Don't give up. That's encouraging to me. And when there's a building that's being added on to, that means the body of Christ here at Hogate is doing their job and yeah. telling those about the gospel yeah. of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So thank you. It means a lot to me to have God's word, to be taught God's word, yeah. so I can learn how to be a man of God, yeah. a man of integrity, a man of courage. Yeah. This is where I'm getting my food at yeah. for my soul. I desire to stay in God's will. So I just want to say thank you for all that you've done. Yeah. Hogate Church of Christ, thank you, God, for all that you've done for me. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Melvin. Anthony and Tara Moore, where, where are you? We try to have a, a cross-section of the membership. Thank you. Like I said, me and Ty haven't been here long, but uh, since we've joined, this has been an instant family to us. We moved here from uh, Arizona, and we're members of Rosa Road Church of Christ. And when we first moved here, me, I was stubborn. I was like, I don't know if we're going to find another church that's going to be like Rosa, that's family, that's close-knit, that's caring and everything. And thanks to the Lord, he proved us wrong, because right now, Holgate is our family. Uh, we've been through some trying times this past year, especially recently, and through your prayers, your support, and just your wisdom and everything that guided us through it and helped us and blessed us. And uh, one of the first things that me and Tara remember that stands out to us about joining the church was going to the first marriage ministry class. And we're the youngest ones in there. We think we're babies. <laughs> and the knowledge that we learned from all the people in that marriage class has been more than we could ask for, and it's definitely beneficial for us. It's definitely helped us strengthen our marriage and strengthen our communication and our faith in the Lord. And so our membership here has been a blessing to us as it's not only helped our relationship, helped us grow spiritually in the Lord together, but it's just helped us overall in our life and in everything that we do. And we just look forward to the new church coming and taking part in helping bring our own new building and helping a new generation of Holgate members help continue the tradition that Holgate has and continuing that family on. So we thank you for that. All right. To your name, oh Lord, praises to your name. We've gathered. 